Okay, now that we have our anatomy background, it's time to give this CIC stuff a try. You might want to watch this section through one full time first, then rewind or jump to the parts you need more help with after. The first thing we always do when we can is wash our hands thoroughly. Washing your hands is the easiest way to prevent urinary infections. It's also a good idea to wash the genital area with mild soap and water once a day. Any more often and you could remove the natural bacteria that protects against infections. Some people prefer to wash with water before every catheterization. Then choose where to catheterize. If you can, you'll probably choose a toilet, but you could also sit at the edge of a tub, for instance. With some catheters, you can sit up in bed using a collection bag. The most important thing is that your upper body is upright, no matter where you are. A great tip many CIC beginners find useful is to use a mirror the first few times to locate your urethra entrance more easily. For our example, we'll use a low fric sense catheter designed specifically for women. With low fric sense, you can see IC pretty much anywhere. When you're camping or in a restaurant toilet, for instance, or any time at home, of course. To activate low fric sense, give it a gentle squeeze right here. That will lubricate the special non friction coating on the tube so it's more comfortable. Peel the top half open and remove the catheter and set the package aside until you're done. Now using the fingers from your free hand, spread the Libya lips and pull gently upwards. You should be able to see your urethra opening if you're using a mirror above the vaginal opening. Insert the catheter tip and push it slowly in until urine starts to flow. You may feel some resistance as the tube passes the sphincter muscle. Coughing usually helps. When the urine starts coming, push the catheter a further one or two centimeters to make sure both catheter eyes are fully inside the bladder. That will help empty the bladder quickly and completely. Make sure the funnel is pointed down into the toilet or bag. When the urine stops, pull the catheter out gently. Usually a little more urine comes during withdrawal. If so, stop and let it drain completely before fully removing the catheter. If you also bend the catheter a bit at withdrawal, it will help prevent the urine from dripping while you dispose of it. Now use the empty package to dispose of the catheter. And that's it, you're done. It may look difficult and may be uncomfortable to talk about, but remember, all we're doing here is peeing. It's nothing unusual or hard or any more embarrassing than peeing the traditional way. Remember, CIC will help you regain control of your bladder and protect your internal organs. As for how many times a day, your doctor or nurse will tell you. It's different for all of us. The urethra, where you'll insert the catheter, can get a little sensitive for a while. Using low fric catheters with Eurotonic surface technology will help you keep the friction down to a minimum, both during insertion and withdrawal.